The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has approved a significant $7 billion loan package aimed at alleviating Pakistan's severe financial challenges. The immediate disbursement of $1 billion marks the beginning of this financial support, with the rest being allocated over the next three years. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif expressed his deep gratitude to IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva and her team, acknowledging the crucial support they have extended. This new loan is part of a long-standing relationship between Pakistan and the IMF, reflecting a history of financial dependency. Since 1958, Pakistan has secured over 20 loans, making it the IMF's fifth-largest debtor. However, this package comes with stringent requirements, necessitating Pakistan to undertake a series of reforms to stabilize and strengthen its economy. Among these, Increasing tax collection from individuals and businesses stands out as a particularly challenging yet necessary measure. The roots of Pakistan's reliance on IMF loans lie in decades of financial mismanagement. The country has constantly teetered on the brink of default, struggling to maintain adequate foreign reserves. Just last year, Pakistan's reserves were so depleted that they could barely cover a month of imports, highlighting the dire need for international assistance. In July 2023, the IMF extended a $3 billion bailout, further augmented by financial aid from allies like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Prime Minister Sharif has stated that the new loan agreement is a pivotal step toward economic stabilization. While acknowledging the formidable challenges that lie ahead, he underscored the importance of this financial package in setting the stage for recovery. Despite the country's troubled financial history, the Prime Minister pledged that this would be Pakistan's final loan from the IMF signaling an aspiration toward building a self-sustaining financial infrastructure. The loan package is expected to provide immediate relief to Pakistan's current economic crises, but also lays the groundwork for medium-term recovery. The reforms imposed by the IMF, while difficult, are aimed at making Pakistan's economy more resilient and self-sustaining in the long run. It's a tough road ahead, but this financial intervention offers a glimmer of hope that Pakistan can overcome its economic woes through structural changes and disciplined fiscal management.